Anybody know what that means? It's painting time. Previously on Gus the Struggle Bus. today's video guys today we are working on painting the bus we are starting the process which takes a lot of prep time but what we've learned in the past that the better prep you do the better it turns out so this might take a while but we are prepared we're ready we're ready to get the step over with and it's time to paint the bus what color you may ask what color a lot of people have asked um, I'm not gonna tell you yet it's not a super exciting color, but I think it's gonna look really awesome. Let's get to it. Hold up. So as many of you guys have told us over and over again, Gus obviously needs a good scrubbing. So I got a power washer here, I got some TSP, I got some soap, some scrubbers, I got my dirty bucket here. Might need a different one, but first step, washing the bus. Yo, yo, microphone check, make it a microphone check, give it a microphone, I make them make it a microphone dead. Don't step to me, newbie, I could truly be moody, I could have played the Grinch in the movies, I've been a part-time shadow cat, part-time, that is not a guy that I would ever want to try to battle rap. Snap, crack a pop, mind fried to a crisp, make an MC into a wide-eyed lunatic. Welcome to the next day, guys. Today will be sticker removal or adhesive, you know, the sticky stuff left over and hopefully sanding if we're able to finish that. So I brought a couple different things to try, but I just tested one and it worked really well. So I think I'm gonna go with that one because might as well use what works. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough, but let me show you. Shout out to the Hive Drive bus because I just sprayed a little bit of this goo going on there and I mean like look look at that that one little section sticker way over there sticker beautiful so I let it sit for a little bit and then I scrubbed it and it is so bright I can't see so I let it sit for a little bit and then I used a scraper to scrub it off and it worked perfectly now we took our decals off like the stickers on top with a heat gun and the same scraper that i'm using i mean i think we did it after we did the demo we got really excited and <laughs> wanted to start working on the outside and i was like let's paint next and i was all you know hyped up about that but here we are two years later so that sticky has been sitting out for quite a while. I don't know if that has made a difference and I might be speaking too soon. That strip just might have been really easy to get off. Uh, we still have two huge actual full decals on the front and the back. Um, and what I'm referring to those is uh, the actual stickers that were on the bus, the Reflectix. Um, and the ones, the only ones that we left, because I kind of liked them until I knew what we were going to do yet, is the school bus, which is on the front and the back. So I'm going to have to fully remove those but it might be easier because it's been sitting out, like I said. Um, but I have quite a bit of sticky to get off. I'm gonna use this stuff here and start working on that. I'll show you the scraper I'm using. We have a heat gun just in case. I am out here by myself, so wish me luck and hope my arms don't fall off. So, I used that whole bottle of Goo Gone. 
The only two parts I have left are the two school bus parts that are at the front and the back. Um, that's going to take the heat gun. I just wanted to use all the ones that were just the goo gun and the scraper. Everything came off pretty easily. Like I said, I think the rest will sand off. I have a couple different grits of sandpaper, but I think I'm going to call it a day because my arms are a killing me. So what is that? Step two? Step two, almost done. Then we'll move on to step three, which is sanding. See you tomorrow. Welcome to the next day. We are on to the next step, which is sanding. And this is a big one because you pretty much have to sand the entire thing. And for those of you that for some reason still ask really often, it is a 40 foot school bus. <laughs> How big is your bus? The, the biggest one you can guess. <laughs> That's the one we have. A lot of stuff to sand. So let me tell you what the goal of sanding is. So the part that has the yellow, the original color of the bus, has this glossy overcoat. It's like an it's like an auto top coat that keeps it uh, really really well protected. It doesn't scratch easily, um, even though it is scratchable. <laughs> it's really well protected and it gives it you know a little shiny, nice looking auto top coat. So. The goal is simply to just get that top coat off. So you just want to use something light like a 220 all the way up to 600. You can use anything in between there and it'll do the job. Um, I did a little test spot. I don't know if you can see. This is the non-shiny part and this is the shiny part. And then I did it a little better over here. So if you can tell, it just gets a little bit of a lighter color and simply takes off that shiny part. So that is the goal of sanding, and why you want to do that is so that your paint will stick to the bus easier. That gloss will make it really hard for it to adhere to the bus, and it'll come off really easily, scratch off really easily, and flake off over time. Now, I have been suggested to use an orbital sander instead of a regular little mouse sander. You can see all that comes off just from that one little layer. Um, so I got my orbital sander. It's supposed to make it a lot easier, get the job done a lot quicker, and not completely kill your sander. And then I have a massive pack of 220 here to make sure that I don't run out and that I can really get the job done quickly. Do you love me? <laughs> Yay! Do you love sanding? No, not sanding, just me. I'll take it. Let me teach you, I could defeat you with two hands tied and have you waking in the hospital like, who am I? And who are you? Who are they? What is this? You would have believed us on the react to this. The mind slips, 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 and speaking in tongues. Fly A, GVA, that's how we get it done. Uh, that's how we get it done. Uh, that's how we get it done. Uh, that's how we get it done. Fly A, GVA, that's how we get it done. Uh. Okay. After this many circles later. I think I have about maybe 80-85% of the sanding done. I'm gonna come back tomorrow and the next thing I'll do is get the two front and back school bus stickers off. I'll start to take off things like this, uh, the reflectix, possibly the lights, and label everything, take pictures of where everything goes, and then sand those spots. So I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow. What do you say, Joe? You ready to go? Okay, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go! Welcome to day, who knows what it is.
Okay, so now that Gus is looking super naked, um, I'm gonna go back and sand all the rest of the spots. Everything that I took off had like some nastiness underneath it and you could like see the dirt that was left where it was. So now I can go back, I can sand all the spots that need to be sanded, stop procrastinating, getting those last stickers off, and get to taping, maybe. Wanna try to battle rap? Snap, crack a pop, mind fried to a crisp, make an MC into a wide-eyed lunatic. Okay, I did it. Very last sticker off. No more school bus. All right, so the next step is going to be washing the bus one more time, hopefully. And what I'm gonna be doing is using a combination of just plain water and this TSP. This TSP is specifically meant for paint prep. So it's a really deep cleaner that's supposed to um, not need any wiping off afterwards. Like if you were to use soapy water and then you had to clean off the soapy water, um, you're just supposed to be able to wipe it down with this and then it's supposed to be good to go to paint. Um, you do cut it with water. This is concentrated. So you mix it with a certain amount of gallons of water and all the instructions are on here. I just got this at Home Depot. They had a couple different kinds. This is just the kind that I thought I could work with. It also works with, if you have a power washer that you can put a solution in. Um, this also works and it says I deal with that, but uh, I don't really wanna mess with the power washer and I didn't bring it today. So I'm just gonna go ahead, put the stuff in a bucket. I got a sponge, try to clean off any more dirt, any more grime, get all this yellow powder off and uh, then start taping. How many times have I said start taping and I'm still not taping? Having started the taping, don't, don't, okay? Washing the bus, okay. Okay, I've wiped down the front, the other side, this side. I've made a big mess. There's probably a better way to do this, but you know, I'm here now. Keep going. I can do it. Okay guys, so that is all the prep that I'm going to show you in this video. So stay tuned for next week so when we start taping and painting and you can see the amazing reveal and transformation of Gus Gus. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any tips or think I did anything wrong or think there's anything I can do better before painting, let me know. I might already be done, but it's still good for other people to see down in the comments. Tips for their future builds. Go ahead and like and subscribe down below. It's really, really supportive and helps our channel grow and supports our journey that we're trying to do here. If you want to support us in other ways, go check out the links that we have below. And through those links, it'll help us just a little bit. A Patreon where you can get extra uh, content on there. It's very exciting, fun to share with all of you guys behind the scenes. And above all else, please don't forget to enjoy life, stay positive, and keep going places. Suckers!